Well, there's some politicians that sicken me for four years. <laughs> Or longer. <laughs> but there, there were a lot of politicians that were and are that are characters. And Gary, like you know something about that. I happen to know something about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now would be a good time. <laughs> Yeah, we know that guy. Now, for those of you who don't know who that is, that's Lawrence Bacali. And Lawrence is in his 28th year of being the MP for the Cardigan District. Now, for any of you who'd like verification of that fact, his wife and sister are sitting right here. I plan on impersonating him. I don't care who you are, that's god darn awkward. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Alan Rankin called me aside one day at the food court in Charlottetown and he told me a story that I'll never forget. He was a special aide to Senator Libby Hubley and he was working in Ottawa. And he was working away one afternoon and a knock came on his door. He said, who's there? There was no answer. Door just opened. And... <laughs> what are you doing, he says. Oh, Alan says, hi, Lawrence. Uh, I'm just doing some work for Senator Hubley. Well, tell me this. Do you want to go see the Dalai Lama? So Alan said, you mean the Dalai Lama? Yes, the Dalai Lama. Do you want to go see the Dalai Lama? Well, Alan said, it's been, uh, I've wanted to do that my entire life. Well, Jesus, come on then, we'll go see the Dalai Lama. <laughs> so Alan's not sure where this is all going. So he kind of follows along a little timidly, and Lawrence is walking down the hallway. <laughs> And he pulls the door and it doesn't open. Alan's pretty satisfied he doesn't know where he's going. So he goes down a little further and he pulls another door and geez, it doesn't open. So they're moving along the hallway and then all of a sudden he pulls open the door and it opens. And Lawrence appears to be as surprised as anybody that the door opened. So anyway, in he goes. And Alan's not sure what to do, so he's kind of like, ooh, geez. So he steps aside and he goes in. Ha-ha! They found the Dalai Lama. They just happened to walk in behind the Dalai Lama while he was making a presentation to Cabinet. And the presentation stopped. And Alan said, the Dalai Lama has security with him. And not these guys in black suits with the aviator glasses like the president has. These guys are in silk pajamas and they've bald heads. And they don't have guns, they have balls with knives in them and they throw them at you. And Alan was scared. <clears throat> and the Dalai Lama turned around to see what the commotion was. Which was the perfect opportunity for Lawrence to say, Lawrence Macaulay from a jail! <laughs> And this here's Alan Rankin from Charlottetown. <laughs> now Lawrence has met a lot of people in his life and that's nearly all he needed to say to the Dalai Lama. He'd pick it up some other time. He was more interested in who was in the crowd and what they were doing, so he was looking out like that. Then all of a sudden, as mysteriously as he arrived, he steps off the stage and walks away and Alan's in the middle of this going <laughs> <laughs> So they get out into the hallway and Alan says, Lawrence, the hell was that? <laughs> he says, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the day, what did we just do in there? Well, Jesus, you said you wanted to go see the Dalai Lama. <laughs> and we went to see the Dalai Lama. <laughs> and he said, 
Were you invited to that? Jesus, no, I'm not on campus. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. If the Dalai Lamb is the parent of the hill, we have a right to see it. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> so he starts walking away. And then all of a sudden he stops. And he gets quite thoughtful. And he turns to Alan and he says, Alan, those llamas, do you think they're liberals or Tories? Evan, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Evan, you're making fun of me. That's not right at all. Come on. I think that's awful to be making fun of me in front of everybody in Georgetown. What a great show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't deserve a big hand. What about a Christmas show? What about a Christmas show with this crowd? Oh, man, that's funny. I, I think this pretty well ends my stage career, but thank you very much. <laughs> Passed an entire cheese sandwich to his nose. <laughs>